I'm doing fine. I'm doing yes. amazing. Mm -hmm. Glad to be here. Thanks yeah. for the invite. You're welcome. Yeah. So what do you do, Maina? Uh, Maina Emong is an, a youthful ex eccentric uh, okay. digital expert. Chinangu Mungumu. Okay. No. Tuendele. Oh. Tuendele. Tuendele. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, digital expert who majors in uh, digital advertising, uh -huh. uh, digital marketing, web development, software development, and uh, anything to do with the digital space. You're also a director? Yes, I'm the director at Mass Digital, yeah, uh, where we majorly what deal in uh, software and digital, yeah. Mm -hmm. So where did this journey start? Who is my Lisomea Wapi, Campus Ulifanya Nini? Okay, so this digital journey started about, uh, actually it started when I was in high school. Uh, that is when I got my first blog, I think in Form 2. Yeah, and uh, in Form 2 I did some few poetry here and there, some few articles. Then after school, I found myself, I was really inclined into which was, uh, digital. So I find myself um, running people's Facebook pages. Actually, one of the first people who trusted me with their Facebook page is my English and literature uh, teacher who had a business as a side hustle. So she gave me her page, of her business page, and I would write uh, and I'd run it. Mm -hmm. uh, got into uni, uh, did film and theater. I uh, I have also done uh, journalism and mass communication. So uh, professionally, I've done this for the last four years. Okay. Yes. And right now, uh, journalism, you're into di the digital space. Uh, I find myself rubbing shoulder shoulders with uh, journalism because uh, I'm also a creative director at an alternative agency. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is where I uh, practice my journalism skills at. But full time, I'm on uh, the digital space and trying to help small businesses uh, improve on their digital presence and uh, try to tell them that there's business in the digital space. And just excuse me, I'm a digital expert because Kaunes operate TikTok, na Facebook, when a digital expert. So mm -hmm. who who is a digital expert? Trust me, everyone. Everyone will say that. Uh, they are a digital expert, yes. but trust me, there's a lot more to be being, being on the digital space. Uh, there's a lot more to ensuring that you're targeting the right people for your posts and that you're sharing the right message because that is where businesses have, uh, have a problem in. Also making sure that you're consistent in uh, making your digital presence felt. You get yeah so that is that is one of the problem also uh being a digital expert means that you're able to analyze and uh, get data from your audience and know what your audience would want what your audience don't prefer and what are the right times and what are like there's a lot to look at what, what is the right time to do your post what is the right time to make this post and what is what numbers are you getting to so it's 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 quite it's it's huge. So is yeah. there a course that to and Ashule ku kusoma amani YouTube is your friend? Okay, this is how it started. Having studied journalism and film and theater, yes. I wasn't taught that in school, obviously. Okay. So with uh, digital digital marketing and uh, the in internet space, also web development, trust me, it's self taught. And I've, uh, I've I've sharpened these skills these skills for so long, uh, considering eight years, like. And it keeps changing also, so you keep learning in the process. Mm -hmm. YouTube is my friend. I also do paid courses on Coursera, Udemy. You have to like look for these skills out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're self-taught. So for someone who wants to become a digital expert, mm -hmm. can you tell us some some of the places to look for these courses? Um, uh, where to learn? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so some of the areas to look at this for, for these courses are uh, uh, Udemy offers these courses. Uh, also, if you go on, go on to YouTube and uh, search anything to do with digital marketing, web development, software development, trust me, you'll get people who are out there training people for free. Yes, but for you, you have to do like an in-depth research. Uh, you've already gone to YouTube and uh, you need to get more because YouTube will just do it on... Uh, Atafanya juju. Lakini for you to get deeper and get to know what happens, what really happens, you like have to go deep into your pocket also and try get some paid courses for that. Yeah. Mm. And what are some of your the tools you use for for your work? What mm -hmm. tools do you need? Uh, okay. Uh, some of the tools that we use are uh, there. There are quite a number, mm -hmm. and uh, the analytics tool is one important tool to use. Uh, some other tools, there are other tools that also help you in getting some target audience. There are other tools, you see, as a creative, okay, digital and being a creative also goes hand in hand because uh, whatever message you share out there, 
should be the right message and needs, it needs some creativity. So what happens is you also need creative tools that will help you in at least getting the right message and curating the right message for your audience. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're a director. Yeah, you, I'm the director. You, you, you look quite young. Okay. Honestly, like you yes. Like no, 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 no. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, yes. That is that is one comment that I get with most people. Uh -huh. Like, why are you this young? You go, you go into, you go into a board meeting and they're like, okay. Are you the person we were talking with on phone? Uh -huh. You're the person who do this for us. Uh -huh. Yes, and my team. And they're like, how did you? Like, it's it's a story that I have to mention for every person I meet in the business world. Like, how did you get here? And how did you get there? Okay, so what <laughs> happened is uh, starting off at an early age, yeah. uh, and uh, learning a few things here and there. Uh, I was able to meet some few people out here who were in the same space, and. Uh, the first thing that I did is putting myself out there as much as possible. Uh, going for doing doing those volunteer volunteer programs for for people and companies, and also projects. Uh, that was one of the milestones that I did. That uh, I got into this project. I helped in this uh, on the digital space, and this is what I achieved. So that helped me to move on to the next step. That uh, also. Uh, I've, I've also managed to get myself here by interacting and networking with very many people. It's, it's important to network. It's, it's one skill that we as youths need to have. So starting this at, uh, let's say, 16, now I'm 23, and do, starting it officially at 19, uh, I had to put myself out there badly. Mm -hmm. So the director of mm -hmm. Mass Digital, yeah. um, what is what type of company is Mass Digital? Mm -hmm. What do you guys deal with? Okay, so Mass Digital is a software and digital company. Uh, we mostly deal in uh, software development, web development, digital marketing, advertising, copywriting. Uh, those are our majors. And uh, in doing that, we have also majored at our own SAS. SA SAS is a software as a service where we offer solutions for the masses and publics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the software world, you need uh, for companies, they need uh, they, you need to streamline everything that you're doing in your company. Like you need to streamline from the HR to the digital department, from the accounts to the management, and we help companies get softwares that align the whole companies and processes, mm -hmm. making it easier for them. Uh, we have a digital uh, department at Mass Digital. Uh, the digital department is called the Brand Energy. Uh, and that is where I head the, digi the dig digital team. And uh, here we help small businesses, any business, any business that is out there and is struggling to get the space into the digital space. Uh, well, we've had a problem with, uh, you see, we've just we just, we were just getting into the digital era. Well, it has moved really fast, and people are quite. People do not understand what it is. They're like, okay, what will this digital yeah, help me with? Exactly. Be? So I'm just thinking, if uh, Mimi ni meanza biashara yangu ndogo, so why should I come to you for any digital help when I can just take my phone and press record uh -huh. na niko live Facebook, no, niko mm -hmm. live YouTube? Mm -hmm. uh, why? 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 come to you uh -huh. yes okay so why you should come to us is because we understand what your audience needs come coming with your business will tell you who are the right people you'll target because you see when you when you when you take your phone like uh immediately you take your phone and go live uh the things uh, well you you'll do it yes but will you get to the right audience you as a page or you as an instagram uh, uh as an instagram company page you get uh, are you getting to the right people so we help you get to the right people we help you target we help you also make ads from your business posts and we and, and that way we are able to reach to some bigger numbers which will at least convert and get you some money into your company mm -hmm. yes because not most people that go on live and uh, not most people go on live and uh, make business out of it because you'll see people uh, who who get into the digital space and they stay there and they're like hey this thing is not working for me What's happening? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that, those are some of the things that, because you as a business person, you believe you know. Mm. Trust me, trust me, I learn daily. I, I go on to Instagram, I go on to Facebook, I go on to Twitter, and these things are changing. These things are diverse. This, I, I learn a lesson daily from these platforms. So you as, an, you as a newbie or you as a new person into, the, into this space, 
makes it difficult for you to understand what you need to do and how you need to do it. Yeah. So when I come to you and mm -hmm. I go to a digital company, mm -hmm. what are some of the services that I will get from them? Okay, some of the services that you'll get from us is uh, one, uh, messaging, like copywriting. What, what, what message are you sharing with your clients? Two, uh, how are you putting, like advertising, like you see copywriting, then advertising, that uh, for you to get your clients, also analyzing and uh, getting analytics for your company and getting to know the right market for your company. Yes. Apart from that? Uh, apart from that, we'll uh, help you manage and uh, take care of your socials, that you don't have to worry about your socials at any time. We are the right people to do that for you. Yeah. So you have my loggings, you have my passwords, you have everything. Yes, I have everything. And I'm safe, like I don't have to Trust worry about... Trust me, you're safe. Yeah. Trust me, you're safe. Because okay. uh, you see what we do, uh, we all, also with the digital space means security. And you see security is one of the... It's one of the key measures that you have to tighten when uh, you're starting your digital journey. Uh, which and, and hackers are everywhere. Hackers are out here terrorizing people. So you need to like make your digital space airtight that no one will be able to penetrate into your space and uh, share their content or uh, get hold of your accounts. So we also help you with with uh, with, uh, with with security on okay. your digital space. Okay. So yeah. I'm just wondering uh, how the structure of a digital digital company is mm -hmm. so what's the structure of the company uh, the the kind of professionals that a yes. digital company has mm -hmm. because I I want to believe that there's so much work and you cannot be the only person who is working exactly there. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to a digital company obviously they ha there has to be the management yes. and the management for for our companies the directors and uh, for each director is uh, is, uh, is is in charge of each department for every department we have a director who leads on the software development uh, sector we have a director who did, did, who heads on the website the software and the website are together and uh, when it comes to the digital space this is quite wide we have uh, the designers the graphic designers we have the social media people people who handle your social media the postings and all that in that social media also we have people who come up with a copy copywriters in that space also we also have people who do analyze data and, an and analytics people who bring all the data collected together and tell you that this is what you need to do for your business mm -hmm. yes so if I wanted to start a digital company, mm -hmm. uh, is it expensive? Because I'm thinking about the space, uh -huh. uh, the, the equipments you need, uh -huh. uh, the employees. So uh -huh. how is the capital like? Uh, honestly, it, might, it may be expensive, but trust me, if you have the skills, this is what I tell people. Like, success meets preparedness. So what you need to do is you need to push and make sure that you're ready. You, you have your skill sets. You having your skill set ready uh, gives you that uh, pedestal that you're able to run a, a successful digital company. From there, make sure that you get your clients, that you're able to push and make sure that you're reaching to as many people as possible and telling them this is what i do yo make noise as much as possible yo i'm a digital marketer and this is what i'll help you with do it for free i don't care do, just do it just make sure that you're out there and people get to know about you uh on the part budgeting and all that because you see with with digital it's it's vast and it it grows daily yeah so another investment that i'd ask people to people who are looking to get into our space is uh, get as many skills sk uh, get, get, get to widen your skills mm. as wide as possible get those uh, uh co co course error courses you dare me go into youtube and that'll make sure that you learn uh it takes time before you get to open an, an office and get employees on board Yes, uh, and that's quite expensive. But for you to get there, you have you must have built gradually. Mm -hmm. You get yeah. it may take an year or two, but you'll get there eventually as long as you are consistent. Trust me, uh, the digital space is one area that really pays. People don't know that. Let me, let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. How it's, well it's, it's does good. it pay? <laughs> Okay, talking yeah. about employees, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just thinking you just can't take anyone from from outside and bring them into your company. Yes. So, what kind of professionals does a digital company have? Okay, so uh, when it comes to the digital space, actually, we don't. 
I, we've, we've had interviews from last year, from last year, February. Uh, we've had about three interviews in between the year. And uh, we honestly don't look at papers. What we look at is what you've done. What projects have you been into? Uh, what do you know about the digital space? How good are you at it? And uh, how good are you at your skill set? Are you a copywriter? How good are your copies? That is what we look at. Are you a digital marketer? Uh, how, 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 good is, how, how good are your organizational skills? Are you able to handle one Facebook page? Are you able to... What lengths can you go to with digital space? The, we, we also need people who are creative. Yeah, so it's one of those things that you can do without a degree. It's one of those things. Well, most companies get people with degrees. Mm -hmm. But you see, it's not, it's not taught in school. So it's people who have sat back and have been doing it for some time and have gained some skills out of it. So you just get them on board and tell them, yeah, this is your, uh, this is your description, this is your job description, and this is what you have to do for us. That's all. Hmm. Yeah. That's, quite, that's quite interesting. Yeah. I think I'll get into it at a minute. Uh, please, please do, please <laughs> do. You can, can you be sure? <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. what, uh, what, what, who are your clients? Um, uh, who do you guys target mm -hmm. when, when it comes to... Digital. Oh, okay. Uh, for the past few years, we've worked for anyone and any person you think of out there, starting from the small businesses, uh, starting for, from uh, go, going to the middle-sized companies and also corporates and uh, big, big organizations, also the government. We've been able to offer solutions for the government also, uh, which uh, means that uh, for, what, what do you call it? That we've been able to serve all these people uh, 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 starting from the software development uh, services, digital marketing services, web development services, we have served everyone in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, we have uh, about three major clients who we are uh, serving starting from, uh, we used to be the major clients and the big organizations, they come in with a uh, uh, they want they want like a whole package where you offer all the services at the at a go. So we do software development, web development, and uh, digital marketing. Digital marketing, uh, in this case, is uh, social media management. Uh, that is what most clients want. So these three these these three these three uh, services are offered as a package for the uh, for for those big organizations and companies. For small small traders, what we do is. Uh, we help them start off the uh, what do you call it? The, the, their digital journey. Uh, that if you need, if you're starting a company, we'll set up the company for you. You don't need to stress about anything. We'll get your company registered. We'll get you branded. We'll get you a logo. We'll get your images out there, and we'll do the right branding for you. Mm. Yes. Okay, that's really interesting. So, what are the what are some of the good characteristics of a good digital company like how do i differentiate from a good digital company mm -hmm. and a work one <laughs> the creative aspect uh -huh. because you see uh we, we we sell emotions and uh, we sell an image you got so if if you look at a digital company you you need to look at the, what do you call them? These uh, the companies they've worked for before. You need to analyze their portfolio and get to know how did they handle these clients, and how are they managing to also work for these clients. Like how creative are they in selling their message, and uh, how resourceful are they, and how fast are they also? And you you. But the creative aspect is one of the major places you should look at. How creative are they? Because you see, out here, uh, you don't want you don't want to read some boring stuff. You just don't want to. We, we, don't, we just don't want content. We, we want some eye-catching content. We want some gluesome content. Content that you look at and you're like, okay, let me read through this. Let me, let me get to know what they're saying about their product, yeah. So, and if I wanted to like start a digital company, what are some of the requirements that I need? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the requirements that you need, which, we, which could, you could do after you've made some money here and there, is register as a company. Yes, uh, you also need to uh, get yourself tools and uh, softwares to get you started on the dig digital space. Uh, you also need to get a budget for the little things. You see, uh, starting a company, starting a digital company also needs that, also means that you need to go out there and get clients. And you see with clients cl comes Client, uh, customer acquisition costs. So you have to get yourself a budget to at least convince a client, Yo, come on board, I'm the right person for this. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's really interesting. 
So as a director, mm -hmm. what are some of your responsibilities? Ndra, your jina ni kubwa sana. So yeah, it's it's a director wa digital <laughs> <laughs> company arafanya nini? My my responsibility is to make sure that things are done and they are done in the right way and are done on time. That I have to ensure that my team is uh, working and uh, they are like they have responsibility like whatever whatever is given to them is delivered and is delivered right before it gets to me it has to go through them that they have to agree that is this right is, is do you feel that the message we're sharing here is okay then for me it's just ah go ahead do you feel this is good you feel this is the right message then yeah let's go ahead uh it also means that uh i have to check up on uh you see uh in business one of the lessons that i've, I've learned with time is take care of your people I need to take care of my people. I need to take care of everyone that is under me. I need to make sure that they are mentally okay. I need to make sure that we are all doing well financially. Yeah, you get. Mm. Yeah, that you're comfortable in your space. Yeah. Yes. Uh, as a director, also I've learned that for creatives, we need creatives need their space. So actually, we don't have any rules at our offices. If you feel that. If you feel like you work best at night, please come to the office at night. Okay. If you feel that you work best at uh, 2 p.m., please come to the office at 2 p.m. No one will ask you okay. because you're a creative. Because uh, I've been a creative before uh, under employment, and trust me, getting to getting to work in a very tight environment makes things hard for you. Mm, yeah. Okay. So as a director, I must make sure that the company is running. And what are some of the challenges that you have faced as a digital company? Woof, clients. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Getting a client on board is hard. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, we call it customer acquisition. And customer acquisition is a whole process. That you've already identified a client and you have to follow up on the client. Trust me, it may take you a month, uh, well, from a day to almost a year. Because I've had clients that I've chased for a whole year that you must keep calling the client. Hey, hello, my name is Alfred. Do you remember me? Hey, Alfred here. Hey, <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, so you have to make sure that you're following up on your clients. Uh, also, uh, uh, when starting, you'll face, ish, or you'll face problems on um, money management. That's another tough me, me because uh, I don't have a history in finance, unlike uh, clients who are here. I, I don't have a history in that. So you have to learn in the process. You have to get the right people. Uh, also, uh, another challenge is, are you making the right decision? Okay. So yeah. uh, we'll go for a short break, but we'll, back, we'll be back after a few minutes. So usiende pahali. Yeah. Y254 Imagine Ili kupata skiza tune hii ya jitume mwenyewe kwa simu yako bonyeza Star 811 Star 963 Hash Unavyo jikakamua kupata ufanisi Ndivyo utakavyo furahi baada ya kufanikiwa Usisubiri kusukumwa na mtu Jitume mwenyewe Ili kupata skiza tune hii bonyeza Star 8 one one star nine six three hash star eight one one star nine six three hash Fanya hivi wete remuka tu chini hata watu wanangochia eh hey, unasema union ah si ninakuona ndio huyu kucha eh hey, kucha ninakuona ndio <laughs> hii nimekuita mara ngapi kesh <laughs> this is the nisa note hii ndio motoka not that this is the nisa note we are giving out na ni rahisi sana kuwekelea bid unaenda kwenye lipa na mpesa unaeka pay bill number 403 2353 kisha unakelea account number ya Nissan Note ni Note N O T E namba ambayo unapenda labda unapenda 100 labda unapenda 200 wekelea Note 100 Note 200 alafu tutakuitisha shilingi 40 peke yake 40 bob only weka pin yako utakuwa umekelea bid ya hii Nissan Note inakungoja wewe mahali popote ulipo mimi namtumishi tutakupea yeah. 
Every Sunday comes with a fresh, energetic, and nourishing vibe. Mixes is Kali Kali from DJ Nix, the Spring Doctor. And request Zako Zote to Nazi Sot, Hapa Hapa, and play them live as they come in. Lively one-on-one -on -one guest interviews with the amazing rising stars and your favorite gospel artists in the game. Alafu na wapakulia fresh and new music, straight from Jikoni, wakatituzi natokea hivyo hivyo. It gets spicy with trending stories on gospel industry with Lynn the brand. Your Sundays will never be the same again. Get your soul nourished through inspiration vibe. All this comes to you live at 11 a.m. Only on Y254. Y254. Y254 Imagine So welcome back. So on our small commercial break, I was asking uh, my friend here if they work with influencers and celebrities. I want to know, can you join the followers <laughs> my own digital company? Okay, yes, we do work with uh, influencers and uh, the people who have got some high numbers. And yes, they do need an, a digital expert for, for, the, for their spaces. Uh, Building an audience on social media, trust me, it's quite a hassle. It's quite a task. So you at least need some people who will guide you on the content that you share and who will be able to analyze what your platform looks like mm. and what your audience looks like. Yeah. And when it comes to charging them, mm -hmm. am I charging a company for your digital services? Mm -hmm. How do you go about that? Uh, go, it cuts across, well, we have a standard package, but it cuts across different clients. You see, uh, there's, a, there's a small business that may not be able to afford your standard package. So what we do is we customize a package for them that this is what we will be able to do for you at your cost. You get and uh, with the with the the these are that the, the standard package is mainly achieved by the by, by these big organizations and companies, uh, but also we have been able to bring these small companies on board and tell them, yeah, please come on board. We'll help you with this and we'll do it for you at your affordable at, at an affordable rate that you you'll be able to raise. Yes. Okay. So every business has a risk. So what are some of the risks that a digital company experiences? Sharing the wrong message. Uh, you've gotten a client, a high end client, and uh, on this particular day, well you've already shared the calendar with them and they looked at it and uh, you delivered already and they looked and they said it's okay you can go ahead and post. Then it gets to the audience and it claps back on you. you so you have to handle such fires. Uh, also with uh, creatives, dealing with creatives can be hard because you see, uh, we also get mental breakdowns. There are these moments where you totally can't think of a thing. Like you're blank, you're totally blank. So that is also another problem that we face. Uh, another risk that we face is uh, clients failing to pay for services. You've already offered a client a service and they just ghost on you. So it's it's quite tough, yeah. So you have to keep following up on the client. Hey, you waste the money. Hey, you we did this service for you. It's 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 a problem that we uh we are uh, we are facing as a company. Also, um business people also are facing this challenge that they do not know where where is the right who's the right person. Trust me, if out of every five business startups or companies uh, uh three of them will meet a company that will not deliver so it's one of the challenges that we get well, you get a client they tell you hey i won't trust you because you know i gave someone else the job and they didn't deliver 
you know, I paid this person the whole amount and they never delivered my website, they never delivered the services, they just they just get, sold me some hot air. Those are some of the challenges. So you have to like bring this client on board and tell them, hey, trust us, we've got you, Tr trust us. Like, we are the right team to go to, we'll solve your problems. So no worries, just chill. Let's do it. Let's get it done for you. So you have said uh, you've talked about being the right team, right? Yes. So what makes you as mass digital the right team? <laughs> we are agile uh -huh. and eccentric. You see, uh, we are abnormal. You see, when it comes okay. to <laughs> when it comes normal, normal is boring. So we want to be we want to be that company that will do what people fear. And we'll get, immerse ourselves into it. We'll take up those challenges and we'll get it done for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what do people fear? <laughs> uh, you see, as when when you come when you bring in a client, most clients are like, eh, is is my business even doing it? Okay, should I even get into the digital space? Uh, is it even the right space to get into? Why am I even getting into this? Like those are some of the fears people have. Am I, am I doing it right? So those are some of the fears that we solve for our clients and also get ourselves into some challenging situations and see how we come out. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have a physical office? Am I your? Yes, we do have a physical situated? office. Uh -huh. We have. Uh, we are located on Mombasa Road, Semi Business Park, Block B3. Yes, that is where we are at. Yeah, you can also find us on social media uh, at Mass Digital Africa, Mass Digital Africa on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's really interesting. Yeah. So, what piece of advice would you give uh, a young person like you who mm -hmm. wants to start a digital company? Just get started. Any, it doesn't doesn't help to sit back and say. No, Gopa. Any you need, you need you need to push yourself out there. You need to put yourself out there, and uh, you need to meet people. You need to network. That is the only way out of poverty. Mm, yes. Interesting. And what's the vision like for you as a person and you as the director mm -hmm. of Mass Digital? We are looking at making it public for everyone. We are looking at being the go-to software solution company in the country and in Africa. That is why it's called Mass Digital Africa. That if you need any service, any digital service, any software service, that you are the company to go to. And uh, we are also looking at uh, maybe in some few years, make it public and people can buy shares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never know. Uh, as a person, I want to be known as the best that ever was in the digital space. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Also. Thank you for m taking your time and educating us on the digital space and showing us the importance of actually mm. coming to a digital company. Uh, yeah. So that was Maina Mwangi, a digital expert. And uh, we'll be right back after the break 